What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be looking at Arbiter, how to maximize her, how to get as much speed as you possibly can out of her. Um, I'll be showing you all the little free to play tricks first and then we'll look at, you know, some of it you just have to spend or be very, very lucky to be able to get the full potential out of her. But she is one of the best login rewards that ev not login rewards, one of the best free champions that we all can get. And she is a real game changer, especially for Arena. And um, I still lean heavily on her, especially for live Arena. Um, so I'm currently in the top 2000. I'm going to show you some, some screenshots of my wins. Um, and do you know what? I've even, these sort of wins are from when I was in the top 2000 and top 1200. But we are going against some real top tier players right here. I mean, Cardiel and Hepafrak and Arbiter as well. Like top notch team comp. The next one, you know, plus four Cfi, Marichka and Rotos. Again, such strong champions. And we still managed to pull out the W. And a lot of this is because of Arbiter. And again, coming against Siffy, my rich car and Hegemon and Taras. And again, Arbiter's helping us a lot get those wins. And yeah, you can just see like she is really carrying us a lot. Oh, ignore this one. Uh, sorry, Cold Brew. Um, we didn't actually have Arbiter for this one. Um, but yeah, but as you can see, she's still doing loads for our account. She is just such an amazing champion. And what we're doing today on Arbiter as well, it can be also be used on Cfi or any other champion that, you know, you build really, really fast and is a turn meter booster. So let's have a look at Arbiter and the first tip, and this is probably the best tip out of all of them, is um, getting common speed boots and then um, ascending them to get that extra 12 speed. So how you do this is you go into campaign, you need to be on Nightmare, and then you go to six of six and you basically just farm it for two days straight. It's probably about a thousand energy. So all the energy that you get for free on those days, we are pumping into this to get these six star common boots. And it's a lot faster than farming dragon. Cause if you do dragon, you know, there's 12 different gear sets that you can get and then you need it to be speed. And then you need it to be speed boots where if you just farm this, we're getting the speed boots. Um, and then obviously then, you know, you've got loads of speed boots. You need to try and ascend them. If they don't land in speed, just sell them. But one, you know, two days worth of farming it should be enough to get you those speed boots. And yeah, so that's an extra 12 speed right there. And that's huge. And also it means that if you, cause Arbiter, all she really needs is speed. I mean, HP and defense is nice on her as well and resistance and accuracy. But really, all we need is speed, 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 all the way. Of course, we wanted to be in triple speed gear as well. And the best way, obviously, you're just going to be farming dragon as much as possible. Um, you want at least double rolls on the chest piece. It doesn't even matter if it's a flat stat. And again, the same with the gloves. We don't care if it's a flat stat. We want at least double rolls. And it, we, of course, you want it all to be six star gear as well. Um, but then as you get better and you get better gear, you want triple and quad rolls as a minimum. I've been really unlucky though. Like you can see my shield, my weapon and my helmet, they're all double rolls and we want them to be at least triple and quad rolls. The next thing you want to be doing is um, using your speed glyphs. And when I've done account takeovers, I've seen this a lot where people make a huge mistake and they they just have they've just burnt all of their their six star speed glyphs these glyphs are the most precious thing in raid and um, they are so hard to come by um, and and even if you, i think you're if you're a spender you know they're very very rare so what i normally do is i'm using my four star glyphs first so for pve content you know i'll try and get as much speed as i can on a champion and then 
I'm using like four star glyphs to bump them up. I really want to use only my five and six star glyphs on my very, very best champions and ones that I'm either using for Hydra or for Arena, like the very, very best champions. So they need to be my best champions and best gear. That's the that's my rules, and that's the only time you should be using your six-star glyphs. Then the next thing is your banner. So we need to spend a lot of time in Spider as well. And again, I've been really unlucky. I've only been able to get double rolls in speed. Um, so let's have a look at my banners at the moment. Uh, substats of speed. And I do have two legendary pieces that I'm hoping that we can, you know, get at least a triple or quad roll in. Actually, do you know what? There's an artifact event going on at the moment. Let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. Oh, my prayers have been answered. That's a huge upgrade. So that's amazing. I can't believe that's actually happened. But um, that's going to be huge for my Arbiter. That extra speed that we're going to have on, you know, that's really, really going to help me out. And you know this piece would be better because it's, um, you know, Ah, uh, okay. So it didn't we didn't land, but I'm still gonna keep it because it is reaction and reaction is still a great gear set. Um, but yeah, really, really unlucky with that. But still, that's a huge upgrade for my arbiter. Um, and then the other thing is Yeah, so you can't actually ascend speed onto on banners as well. So that's all the places that we can get speed on our gear. And like I said, so Dragon, Spider, you need to farm it heavily. And actually, Polarium did do um, an event a couple of couple of months ago where um, they were doing faction only, and it was High Elves. If you see that, go ham, go hard. Um, that will really help your Arbiter if you can get loads and loads of banners with speed on them. The next thing is Blessings. So if you can... I. I would probably only, I wouldn't, I'd probably, you know, soul coins, um, no, sorry, soul essences. I'd probably focus those on other champions first before I did my Arbiter. But if you can fully awaken her, that's an extra 15 speed, which is huge. You know, all these, all these things do add up and it will just make your Arbiter go first. And if you can go first, you have a, such a bigger chance of winning. So yeah, if you can fully awaken her, that's great. Or get really lucky and pull a six star for her. That is absolutely huge. Uh, then Masteries. Obviously, you're going to go support with her and get Laura Steel. Again, this is going to... If you've got triple speed on her, this is going to increase our speed even more. And actually, how much does it increase our speed by? Um, total stats. So it's only an extra plus six speed. But it does help. It really does. Um, you know, even if your Arbiter's one speed faster than the enemy's Arbiter, you will go first. Uh, Spirit Haste can help. So, you know, if someone dies and you well, if three people on your team die, that's an extra 24 speed. Um, but you don't really want that to happen in Arena. Um, and this is, a, this, you know, this is a must, like, timely intervention. If, you know, if you've got some reaction gear on your Arbiter and she's got HP and defense, there's a pretty good chance that she's going to survive. She can cut in, revive the team, and then boost everyone's turn meter again, and you get to go. So I would definitely recommend doing that. So that is like, you're not really increasing your speed there, but, you know, it does, it does help a little bit. So we've looked at the speed, and then the next, the next part of this is all the sort of, if you're a spender or super, super lucky. So then to get another plus uh, 10 speed is maxing out your guardian factions for high elves. And then the next thing would be empowering your champions. And personally, you know, this could be really, really hard to do. Um, but if you could empower up, so this means you need three arbiters. So an extra, if you had, if I had three Arbiters, that means you can make one, another plus 10 speed. And if you got five, then that's 15 speed in total. So it's not huge, huge, huge. Um, but, you know, that is really, that's just an extra 15. And again, if you can get all of these, it does stack up and it will just make your Arbiter really, really fast. I still personally, you know, if I had like a Cephi, 
I will be prioritizing my Sifi over my Arbiter. Or let's just see who else. There's that new champion as well. I think it's like, what's her name? Susan or Sushan? Uh, Shadow Kin. There she is. Uh, Shusen. Shusen. So she, you know, I'd be prioritizing her over Arbiter. Um, but yeah, again, she's really, really fast. But yeah, there's all these other champions. But yeah, so like I was saying, like if I had a Sifi, you know, and I, you know, I had all the money in the world and I'd, you know, spent, um, I had like four Sifis, you know, I'd be empowering that Sifi. However, I wouldn't be doing that with an Arbiter because she's just not on that same level. But that is the, that is like every single way that you can fully max out your Arbiter, get as much speed out of her and make sure you get all those Ws. Uh, you know, if you guys have got any tips and tricks, please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear them and let me know how fast your Arbiters are just so I can gauge how fast mine is. Uh, mine's only at 360 at the moment, so I would love to maybe get her like 370, 380. Um, you know, when I'm in live arena, I am sometimes I'm playing against like top level players. Uh, you know, they're they're plat and they're they're Kaimars, they're warlords are even faster than my arbiter. I'm guessing they're around like 400 speed. Um, but, you know, that's just crazy. That is just crazy, but it is what it is. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.